<laughs> All right. Well, this morning we're joined by one of my favorite people, uh, Nick Rab Rabinovitz. Of course, a comedian. You know him. You've seen him on TV. You've seen him everywhere. And I was actually... I need, I need to firstly start off this interview by saying I'm very disappointed, Nick. I'm very disappointed. Why? Last week, Monday, do you know how hyped oh, I was to goodness. see you? I was telling the whole nation, oh, oh 45, it's happening. Nick is going to be here. And then... You see, it was the Jewish New Year. And um, I had messaged Lucien. I said, listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I had an old number for him. And then I woke up to 1,700 missed calls from... <laughs> We were, the entire Sequoia. production team was trying to get a hold of you. We were worried, but I'm glad that you know, you're okay. And obviously, you've just returned from Joburg, and you're going to go back again. Yeah. Because uh, Fortified is doing pretty well there. Yeah, it's great. It's nice to be up there in Joburg. People are coming to watch. We were just talking about um, Tsitsi yeah, yeah, opening yeah, yeah. for me. Shapa. And uh, my friend Tats actually came to watch the show. Yeah. And, uh, and then afterwards, about 100 white people congratulated him on his opening act. <laughs> Tell me about the show. I want to know about Fortified. What's um, happening? Have you, have you reached some kind of midlife crisis? Or is it... I did when I turned 40. It's actually worse when you turn 41. Okay, really? Because then, yeah. then you realize that the years are just rolling And I'm nearly on. 42. You can't go back. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 42 in two yeah. weeks' time, but Joburg doesn't know that. They think I'm 40. <laughs> but what's been, what's been most challenging about this, this part of your life? Well, I think I was just talking to you, and it's kind of like you, you for so long in your 20s, 30s, you're ambitious, you're trying to get somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get to 40 and you go, is this, is this the somewhere, is this? That I've been trying to get is to. Is this it? Is it? What, are you there now? So you, you feel like, yeah, is this well, it? Yeah, I have been the last couple of months. I was been, like, is this? Is this it's, it? it's been good for you, man. You, you've gotten to, to great places. But sometimes you, you don't see that. And then it takes a young guy like Titi to look out at your audience and go, oh, all these people came to see you. And you go, wow. yeah. Wow. So you share, you share obviously a lot about your personal life and family life and what's been interesting, most interesting about family life for you uh, in your 40s? Um, well, I mean, a lot of my show I talk about how stressful it is having three kids and it's, I think it's more stressful for, for my wife. Certainly when I came home yesterday, she was like, I'm done. <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm done. I, she, I'm like, I just want to connect with you, love. I don't have anything left for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got three kids, a cat and a dog. <laughs> tell, Maybe tell, for the cat, but you and the dog must go and find your own ways outside. Well, tell, tell me about, about the, the, the kids at home and the different personalities right. that are coming out now. Well, we've got uh, Ben, who's eight, um, and he, Adam, who's six, who's a typical middle child, yeah. and Sophie, who is two. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Two, six, eight. Right. That's and good my wife, Deb, who's now been spared. But it's, like a, <laughs> it's, no, it's like... a lot of children. <laughs> And who's, who's the most like you? Who's the most like your wife at home? Um, I think Adam maybe is, he's displaying some comedic uh, tendencies. Uh, the oldest is a lot like his mom. He's more sensitive and emotionally connected. His yeah. EQ is, I think, quite high. Yeah, and, and the middle child is just kind of like... What the hell is that? That's one of your previous posters. That's actually, that's actually for my next show about... You see, that's from the shower. Yeah. And um, so my next show is about the drought in Cape Town and it's called Dry White. Right, right. And, and in here you discuss things like your dry skin condition that is sometimes so dry that you can write the word dry on it. Yeah. That's terrible. Why? You, I think you're too old for that commercial. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about. No, what do you mean? And then I'm going to write a show about um, settling Mars because I was inspired by your guest earlier. Brian Smith. About Did you know this? As I was listening to that interview, Elon Musk, his idea for colonizing Mars, do you know what it is? No, tell me. Because obviously there's no... Um, Atmosphere yes, on Mars. Yeah. So his plan is to detonate nuclear bombs over the poles of Mars to create an atmosphere. I and don't even know how that's supposed to work, but I'm sure some engineers calculated it's it. It's weird, because when I want to create an atmosphere, I, I light candles and put on Kenny G <laughs> and, a, and Aramis. There's a connection there. To, to get it. Aramis, Musk. There we go. Musk, yes, Aramis. yes. Nick, we get it. Yeah. 45. Why, why should people come and watch this show? Why? Because uh, it's 2018 and we need to laugh. As simple God as that. damn it. There's, there's no better reason than that. So check out uh, the show 19th to the 22nd of September. Tickets are still available for your last couple of shows. I think that's actually an error. I think the 19th is Yom Kippur. So you So not... I cancelled that so show. You ca <laughs> Just so that my... Any rabbis watching? Like, <laughs> like you did cancel on us last yeah, week because you're Jewish New Year. The All right, no, make the cancellation, man. But check out the show. Uh, thanks very much for joining thanks. us. Always such yeah. a pleasure, dude.